Hello folks, in this video we're going to talk about familial exudative vitreoretinopathy or fever. This condition was first described in 1969. It is a bilateral and asymmetric retina disease. In general, it's a disease called by avascular retina in term children. Avascular retina in preterm newborn is usually ROP. The disease has a very favorable course and the incidence in newborns is as high as 0.1% of all newborns. The second part about the genetics, the disease can be isolated, autosomal recessive or dominant or X-linked. It has a very variable expressivity. That's why the condition can be very severe or very mild. <clears throat> the five most common genes are NDP, FZD4, LRP5, TSPEN12, and ZNF408. Most genes interfere with the norin or WNT pathway. Patients with LRP5 usually have osteopenia. To the pathophysiology, it is a dysfunction usually in the stage of angiogenesis in the embryonic development after vasculogenesis. Most of the patients have alteration in the WNT pathway. The disease is characterized by incomplete vasculature of the retina periphery in a V-shaped peripheral avascularity. Most of the complications are secondary to the last lack of normal vascular development. Diagnosis involved Fundoscopy, it is very important to perform wide field fluorescent angiography. OCT and OCTA provide valuable information about the macula and OCTA show that uh, all retina layers vascular system are affected. Molecular analysis is advised to find which gene is called the disease. If molecular analysis cannot be performed or if the patient have LRP5, bone densitometry with dual energy X-ray absorptiometry scans should be performed. To the management, very mild cases can be treated with laser only. For more severe cases, frequent anti-VGF injection should be performed. Chronic exudation may require intravitreous steroids. Buckle may be used in very selected cases and surgery is indicated for cases of PVR, scar tissue or tractional retinal detachment. And on the right, an example image of a patient with fever. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.